Who do Republicans want to run against? I would, Obama prefer, or <laughs> I would prefer Barack Obama because he is so liberal that he's, he's anti-American. No, no, no. The controversy started after Obama detailed his willingness to bomb suspected terrorist cells in Pakistan. No, no, no. The only foreign policy thing I remember he said was uh, he's going to attack Pakistan. No, I'm sorry. Barack Obama's talked about paratroopers into Islamabad. No, no, no. So we've got to get the job done there. And that requires us to have enough troops that we're not just air raiding villages and killing civilians, which is causing enormous problems there. And Obama's comments slamming U.S. troops. No, no, no. What his press secretary, and obviously in conjunction with that, Barack Obama are doing, is saying that we are targeting civilians. No, I'm sorry. Then this week at a New Hampshire forum, Obama seemed to criticize the performance of U.S. troops in Afghanistan. No, no, no. With relatively few troops on the ground, the U.S. and NATO rely on air power, and civilian deaths from airstrikes have doubled. You are asking the American government to roll back the airstrikes. Do Absolutely. I understand you? Oh, yes, in clear words. Well, we had his pastor on this program, <laughs> remember, who has a very black separatist point of view. No, no, no. Here's Barack Obama. His minister holds, you know, the, these black separatist views. No, I'm sorry. I want the public to understand where your church is coming from, because you're being accused of being a black separatist church, and thus Obama is being accused by default of being a black separatist. Can you straighten that out for us, please? The African-centered point of view does not assume superiority, nor does it assume separatism. It assumes Africans speaking for themselves as subjects in history, not objects in history, and not saying we are superior to anybody. If I went to a church where white supremacy was preached, what would you think of me? No, no, no. No, but uh, see, I disagree with you, though, Terry. That, that, that's not what's preached at Trinity. The only time he's ever been asked about his association with Bill Ayers, the unrepentant terrorist from the Weather Underground, who on 9-11 of all days in the New York Times was saying, I don't regret setting bombs. I don't think we did enough. Is that a question you might ask? Well, I, I'm taking notes right now. There's a gentleman named William Ayers. Uh, he was part of the Weather Underground in the 1970s. They bombed the Pentagon, the Capitol, and other buildings. He's never apologized for that. And in fact, on 9-11, he was quoted in the New York Times saying, I don't regret setting bombs. I don't regret setting bombs. I feel we didn't do enough. Can you explain that relationship? No, I'm sorry. This is a guy who lives in my neighborhood, who's a uh, professor of English in Chicago who I know, and the notion that somehow, uh, as a consequence of me knowing somebody who engaged in detestable acts 40 years ago when I was eight years old, uh, somehow reflects on me and my values doesn't make much sense, George. <laughs>